turned up to this one, Worcester Bosch 30 SI, no heating was the fault. First thing I always do is check that the program is on, then go over and turn the room stat up. Turn it all the way to max and then head back to the boiler and see what the boiler's doing. So the boiler's just sat idle, doesn't even recognise the demand. So next thing I'm going to do is whip out the breakdown bible, head down to the fault finding flow chart, combi boiler plug-in programmer, is the programmer display on? This one's a mechanical clock so there's no display but I've checked the programmer and the room start calling. So I've got to access the PCB and check to make sure there's 240 on LS. So we are getting 240 on LS. Now we're going to head over to the room stat and remove the cover. It says check for 240 on one, but it basically means check for 240 on in. According to the wiring diagram, that's in. So now we're going to check for 240 on out. We've got 240, so that proves the room stat's okay. Now we're going to check for 240 on LR at the boiler, which we're getting 240 at LR. So the breakdown bible says replace plug-in programmer. So we got one of those on the van as van stock. One screw and it will just pop out. I will just show you that if you remove the programmer, the boiler will start firing straight away. This is another test you can do to prove it's the programmer. I've been very in depth with this fault finding just to help people learn. So I'm gonna turn the power off pop the new one in now I'm going to flick the power back on and try it you can hear the boiler picking up the demand now and starting the ignition process now it's lit I'm going to turn it off again just to prove the programmer is turning it on and off that's another one done. The customer's not going to be cold anymore. Happy days.